Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Maria. I'm very happy to see you here. And I decided to film this video outside, get out for a walk. I hope there won't be too many people walking so I can concentrate and tell you what I want to tell you. So in this video, we will talk about things I wish I knew about Ireland because I've learned them within years and I actually wish I knew those things before I moved or at the beginning when I just moved. Cool, so thing number one that I wish I knew was to give myself a bit more time to adapt because I moved and um, I was like, oh my god, I don't understand people, oh my god, um, something is wrong, life is not as I thought it's gonna be and stuff like this. So I wish I gave myself much more time to adapt, maybe like a year or so, and I wish I was a bit nicer to myself because I was treating myself really, really badly. Um, I wish to tell myself that, oh my god, I hate myself because I cannot talk so fast or I cannot think so fast in English, but that's absolutely normal. And I wish I gave myself a bit more time because all this adaptation process takes a lot of time. And also on my Patreon I made a video about the adaptation process and if you would like you can join my Patreon to learn more about it and I'm sure it is going to be very useful for people who want to move abroad. Point number two is hold the door for people. So when you get out and there is someone behind you and they also want to get out it's very important to hold the door for those people okay and I totally understand that in some cultures this is normal but in the culture I come from it's not normal at all people don't hold the door for each other people don't say please people don't say thank you um, it's considered to be not that nice to say please and thank you because you go to like a lower level in society if you say please and thank you can you believe what a stupid culture and I really hope that this kind of culture like in Moldova will change at some point but the culture in Ireland is amazing people are very 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 respectful to each other and I remember that when I was working in Burger King there were parents and those parents tried to make their children to be leaders, not to be afraid of asking for something. And those parents told their children to make the order. And those parents were teaching their children And those parents were teaching their children to say please and to say thank you. So even when a child is two or one or three, he knows that he has to say please or thank you. Um, also holding the door, that's something that everyone is doing in here. I remember I had a situation when I went to uh, the gym and we had a class and I think it was a Pilates class, it doesn't matter anymore. And there was the teacher and she had to enter behind me. And I remember that I did not hold the door for her and to be honest, I still feel very guilty for not doing that. So keep in mind that it's very important to be polite and hold the doors for people. Point number three, to bargain is absolutely normal in shops. Okay, that's something that really surprised me. Um, I knew that it's absolutely normal to bargain in uh, markets. So when you go to a market, you can ask for the best price, for a good deal and stuff like this. But I did not know that you actually can do this in shops as well and ask for the best price in actual stores because I always thought that the price is always fixed. But uh, I used to work in a store and I remember that uh, we had loads of people coming over and saying that, oh, I'm looking for the best price. What can you do for me? So it means that they would like a price discount. I kind of think it's very good for the customer that they can get a lower price. Um, probably it's good for the company as well because they can build loyalty uh, with that lower price but yeah that was really surprising for me so if you go to buy a fridge if you go to buy a tv or i don't know something else you can always ask what can you do for me what is the best price what can you uh, give me so yeah that's a pretty cool thing to know guys it's impossible to film outside i'll be honest i really wanted to <laughs> show you the green around and everything but like cars and children and people it's really really hard to film I have to fight with my fear of filming outside. Now guys, before I move to the next point, please make sure you give this video a like, you do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions about moving to Ireland or anything that you want to ask me, if you want me to look into your situation, please make sure that you first of all subscribe to my VIP Patreon membership on Patreon or you book a private consultation, okay? It's very important because there are so many of you and I just 
just do not manage. I get like extremely long messages on Instagram, uh, people telling me about their lives and stuff like this, about their work experience. And you know, guys, I cannot even reply because they are too long and I need to get into your situation. So this is why please make sure that you either go to my Patreon or you book a private consultation and I will look into your situation. Point number four, do not call Northern Ireland UK. I made a video where I went to the stairways to heaven. It's located in Ireland, on the island of Ireland, but ge geographically that is UK. And in my video I just mentioned that that's okay, you know, I never meant to insult anyone, I just said it, that's it. And I got so many messages and some people were very lovely to inform me that um, they don't feel really well when I call that part of Ireland UK and they asked me to call it Ireland. Some people got like extremely insulted that I called it UK. Again, so it's just for your information, do not call it UK, just if it's Northern Ireland, call it Ireland or just call it Northern Ireland but don't say it's UK. Um, I don't really think that people would have the balls in real life to be not nice to you and give you a bad comment in real life. Obviously I know that they have balls on YouTube <laughs> in the comments but they will not do it in real life. But again I'm most likely if you'll communicate with someone in real life you'd like to become friends with them or maybe just have like a normal relationship just to avoid them feeling not really nice, I would avoid calling Northern Ireland UK. Just go for Ireland or Northern Ireland. Cool. And point number five. People are very, very, very sensitive here in Ireland and I would say in the UK as well. When people talk, they really like sugar coating everything. When you get some feedback, it's always sugar coated. It's never like a direct feedback. This is why it's very important to be very careful and mindful when you talk to people, okay? So especially if you come from a culture where people are very direct, be mindful when you talk to people here, okay? Like if you come from Eastern Europe, I think if, even if you come from like Norway, Sweden, Sweden, um, you come from very direct cultures where people just speak directly but be very mindful that in here you have to really consider people's feelings to consider what they feel when you say certain things I made a video where I was talking about the drawbacks of living in Ireland and I was shocked and surprised to see so many people being insulted by that video when I watch that video it's a very normal thing for me in that video I'm very 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 direct yeah I just say that this is the thing and that's it I did not give any disclaimers mentioning that it's just my opinion I did not mention that I come from a culture where I'm very direct it was surprising to see how many people were just like insulted by that video again I'm not gonna delete that video because first of all that's a huge hype for me you all lo loads of you found me through that video and uh, that video makes me a lot of money makes me very popular so I'm never gonna delete it not never but like for now I'm not gonna delete it second thing is that you know I want to talk about the drawbacks because I don't tell you that Ireland is the perfect place to be in it's absolutely not ideal it has drawbacks and it's very important for you to know what drawbacks are there every time when I go somewhere I always try to check the negative reviews okay for example when I went to a hotel in Galway I checked the negative reviews and it said that the rooms are very hot okay so it was something very negative for someone but for me it was a thing that I can live with I like when something is very warm because I can wear very light clothes okay so that's okay for me but for example if I was to read a negative review about a hotel and they would say that the furniture is very old and scratched then I would not go to that hotel so it's very important to know those negative reviews you know it's very important to know what the drawbacks are and you can see can you live with those drawbacks or you cannot live with those drawbacks and stuff like this. A conclusion after that video and in general people are very 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 sensible. Sorry not sensible but I was checking their sensitive. <laughs> sensible and sensitive are actually two different things. But also I have noticed that I became much more sensitive myself. You know when I <laughs> go back to my home country and I see people being so rude and not being very mindful about what they talk I feel really <laughs> insulted myself. So yeah I totally understand people. Um, I think to deal with this is to 
take different kind of trainings, to watch different kind of webinars where people talk about effective communication, to just learn how to better communicate with people, how to better give feedback and um, advice and stuff like this. That's generally it that I wanted to tell you. Thanks a lot for being with me this video, for walking with me. It's so lovely and sunny outside and I really didn't want to stay indoors because it's not that nice to miss this kind of weather because we don't get it so often. And I wanted to say thanks a lot. Make sure you give this video a like, you do subscribe to my channel, you check all the links in the description to this video and I will see you in the next video.